Hey, what's going on, everybody? I hope y'all doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Should Battlefield 2021 be next gen only? That's the topic that we're going to talk about today, and I would love to know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think about that. Should it be next gen only? Should it be only for the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X or next gen PC hardware? Let me know. I, don't, I really don't know if this actually even goes towards PC because, I mean, hell, I've got a decent PC, but it's not the latest and the greatest, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to run the, the game that they have. Maybe not, I don't know, but I'm thinking it's, this is all really geared towards console players. But first, I just wanna let you know that, hey, if you wanna catch up with me, you wanna hang out, you wanna talk, join our Discord. We've got lots of interesting people in there, some subscribers, some close friends of mine. So uh, come on by and start up a conversation. Now getting back to the topic at hand, should Battlefield 2021 be next gen only? Well, that's a, that's a tough one. I think that if you're coming from a place of where you already have a next gen console or you have the means for a next gen console, then yeah, you want the developers to focus on the next gen console. You want them to focus on only having time to really make the very best product. And that's probably going to be focusing on next gen hardware. Now me, I do want that, but I also want it to be available for the masses. I want it to be available for everybody because I just don't think that it's it's the right time for that. We've had a lot of things going on in the world. <laughs> Maybe you've heard about it. I don't know. There's a few things that are going on in the world that could be causing some you know financial issues for people. So some people may not have the means. If you're a Battlefield player and you don't have the means, does that mean you have to skip out on the next Battlefield game? How's that gonna make you feel? Are you okay with that? If I didn't have the means and I couldn't play the next Battlefield game because they decided to go new hardware only, so I have to go out and spend, what, five, six, seven hundred bucks in order for me to get the access, the access just to play the damn game, I'd be a little pissed off. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be a little upset, so. Yeah, that's, that's kind of how I feel about it. Now, if you're coming from a developer standpoint, you want the very best game out there. You want that product to be the very best, but I guarantee you that they really want to make sure that it gets in front of a lot of eyeballs too, right? They want to make sure that game is available for everyone. Maybe not as robust as the next gen versions are, but they want that game to be out there for everybody. Let's say you put it on the PS4 and the Xbox One, right? Why not make those two cross-platform? Because that way you'll have a larger pool of players coming from Xbox One and PS4. Do that. It's a watered-down version of the next game. But once those folks have the means and they have a taste for it and they want to get that next version, then they can get that next-gen hardware and get the next game. It's not going to be free. I'm sure they're going to have to pay for it, but still... It's just a thought. I can't see why they wouldn't want to do that. There's so many players that are still going to be on previous gen hardware. I cannot see them not wanting to do that. What do you guys think about this? I want to know. I really do want to know if, if you're for it, if you're against it. I, I got to know, man. I get it. I get that if you have the means, you're going to want the, the latest and greatest. And, and I, I have the means, but I really think that it should be for everyone. You know, I think it should be for the people who just don't even, hell, put one out on PS3 for crying out loud. Maybe, you know, those folks that don't have one. But I mean, I'm sure that the, the PS4 is more affordable now than it was. Also, what do you guys think about community games? I'm curious if anybody's actually tried that out as well. I played around with it a little bit and uh, hopefully we'll be streaming using that come Friday. Yeah, if you didn't know, we like to stream every weekend. Sometimes, uh, I think Fridays is mainly the time, usually around 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and sometimes Saturday, sometimes in the day, sometimes in the evening. But we like to stream on the weekends as much as possible, catch up with you uh, awesome folks. So come by and hang out with us. I want to really push the, the community games and see what we can do with it. I really want to mess around with it. I've only seen a few community games. I played with it the other day. I thought it was a lot of fun, but not really where I want it to be, you know? I want to see more out of this thing. I want to see a lot more out of community games. I still think they should have made a version that you can pay for because everybody thinks, oh, well, this is great. We now have custom servers and this is how Battlefield 3 stuck around. Yeah, but those are paid for servers. Those are third-party servers, by the way. Those, those aren't DICE servers. So what happens when DICE wants to shut down those servers? You, that Battlefield 5 would be over, kaput, gone. That's it, Katie bar the door. 
yes, it's great that we have these, but we don't really have what we need to keep this thing going. If you like Battlefield 5 and you're a huge fan of it, man, enjoy it while it lasts. Enjoy, enjoy it while it lasts. It will go bye-bye uh, eventually because, like I said, they don't have uh, servers that you can purchase. I hope maybe they do. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Why wouldn't you do that? That makes no sense to me. Just rent, rent the damn servers. You'd make money off of it. You know, if I can have a server that can customize the way I want it to be customized, then that's great. I can have admins. You give me the ability to have uh, moderators or admins or whatever you want to call it. If you want to have a, just a true rotation or you have people vote on the next map like they do in Battlefield 1, great. I would love that. And then let me see what people like and then I can make adjustments, you know? Jeez. I hate the fact that it's just such a watered down version. It's a lot better than it was. Granted, a little bit more robust than it was. Still not where it should be, personally. I think it should be much better, but again, all of their attention is focused on the new Battlefield, Battlefield 2021, or whatever the hell they're gonna call it. That's where their focus is, so I, I get it. I don't blame DICE so much, I blame EA, but somebody said, well, EA is DICE. Eh, whatever. Management over the people who are making the product. How about that? That frustrates me a little bit. And that's, that's where the whole topic goes to for the next gen thing. Is that going to be something that the developers are wanting to do, or is that coming from management once again? Hey, we got to keep our costs down. Can't do that. And also, I didn't think about this, but also you got to take in consideration the fact that there is a thing going on that might prevent them from doing all that necessary extra work. So that's a thought too. It could be the fact that you know what? We have limited resources. We have limited people. People are working from home. We can't push them so hard. We need to focus on just this. I totally get that. If it's coming from that place, got it. I get it. If you're not able to put out what you want because of the thing that's going on in the world, you know, yeah, I get that. So it's a tough one, man. It really is a tough one. I really do hope they are able to actually put it out for everybody to enjoy. That would suck if it's only for a limited number of people. It really would suck. I, I would hate that. And that's just my personal opinion. I think, like I said, I think they should make it for both consoles, uh, for all of them. Maybe not have any kind of crossover. Unfortunately, that would suck. But if it's if it's what I think it's going to be, they're not going to be able to. You know, if if it's going to be as big as I think it's going to be, it, they're not going to be able to. So that's it. All right. Well, I've rambled on long enough. I've never done one of these. I just turned on the recorder and decided to yap this out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and talking with us. Uh, come by and see us uh, this weekend. We'll be streaming this Friday. Hopefully something uh, probably Battlefield 5 related if we can get into some front lines. I want to try a front lines more hardcore version of that, that server. So we'll see what we can do. All right. Well, that's it for me. As always, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. Really do appreciate it. And until next time, bye for now. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That thing. Hit the bell. Do that, too. And and share it with all your friends. You, you know, you know, people that don't even watch Battlefield stuff. You can send it to them. Go check out my other video, too. It's up here in the corner somewhere, I'm sure. All right. Bye, guys.